Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff. All right, Ben and Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Jeff Ports. Good to see you, Jeff. Good to see you, man. Yeah, man. I was, uh, we haven't done an interview in a while like this, so um, for those that are just now kind of finding out who you are, uh, first of all, who, uh, who is Jeff Ports? Um, well, I'm Jeff Ports. Right? <laughs> I, I was born and raised down here, um, came up through the amateur system down here. Uh, when I decided, you know, boxing wasn't going to be the way I was going to make, you know, make a living. Um, I started my, my, my commercial construction company. That's where we're at now. Uh, then at 24, you know, I wanted to get back into the sport again. I started training fighters and, you know, here I am 13 years later, still doing it, you know, and, um, couldn't be happier. And you got a you got a really uh, great stable of developing here in South Florida. Um, I know right now the, the the main focus is you got you got Pete Dobson in a pretty big fight on February third against Conor Ben. Uh, before you get into the rest of your stable, can you talk about the Pete Dobson Conor Ben fight? Like stylistically, how do you, how do you see that fight? Yeah, you know, so I mean that fight came out of left field too. It's uh, you know, me and Pete we hooked up in two thousand. Man, you probably know twenty one. Was it 2021? two thousand twenty one? Yeah, we hooked up in two thousand twenty one. Um, you know, he, he had been inactive for about two years. He came in the gym, you know, we just in talking and being friends, we decided, Hey, look, you know, let's try it out. We, we went five and all kind of got his career back, back on track. Um, you know, through whatever we, we didn't, we didn't train together for a while, but got a call and, and he, uh, he got this opportunity to fight Connor Ben and, and he gave me a call, man. And, you know. I said, let's do it. I watched Connor Ben. I think Connor's tailor made for Pete style, to be honest with you. I think everybody, I think out of everybody in the welterweight division, if you were to say, hey, look, who do you want to fight the most for a guy like Pete? I say, Connor Ben. You know, I mean, I think that uh, Pete style mixes really well with Connor Ben, and, you know, it was a no brainer to take the fight, and, and, and here we are getting ready for it. Okay. Uh, what is it about Connor Ben style you feel makes him tailor made for Pete? Well, you know, I don't want to yeah, I know you don't get the whole game plan away, divulge but. everything, but yeah. um, you know, I think that Connor's, I think Connor's green. I mean, I think it's, I think it's, it's easy to see that he didn't have a big amateur career. You know, I think that maybe uh, some some issues with his fundamentals. You know, we're gonna be able to exploit in there, and I just think that overall, Pete's a better fighter. You know, I, I mean, I really do. I think, you know, Pete came up a tough a tough way. You know, uh, Connor Ben didn't come up a tough way, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, one one doesn't have to do with the other, but I, I just think that overall Pete's a better fighter. I think he's a more intelligent fighter, and I, I feel very good going into this. Yeah, and they picked the wrong guy, you feel, pretty much. Yeah. Honestly, I maybe because of this whole Chris Eubank thing or whatever, Matchroom is not liking Conor Ben so much, but I have no idea why they would choose a guy like Pete to go against Conor. But I'm glad they did, and... Um, let the cards fall where they may. Yeah, make, make, make for a great fight on February. How do you feel about Connor Ben? Still um, fight. I feel, I'm just happy, bro. It's a dream come true. Finally, I get to show the world how how great I am. Like, feel me? I feel it. Undefeated fighters and hyped up fighters, but they always kept me off TV. So now the world gets to see how good I am. You feel me? Like, and you know, with this interview, I don't want to talk too much because I feel like the interviews that I did with you in the past gave yeah. my opponents. Even though I don't think Connor Ben is like that, you know, he's. From what I see, he's a stand-up dude, but these other dudes, they be ducking me once they see me do interviews and, and talk the truth, you feel me? Yeah, so. I know you don't want to say too much, but as far as like him as a fighter, watching him, like what what, what are your thoughts on, on Conor Ben? I feel like Conor Ben is green. That, that's what I say, he's green, but um, I feel like he has a hunger to prove himself. He got a chip on his shoulder, his father being a world champion. So he, he puts that, that work in. But I feel like my my level, I'm, I'm on a whole nother level. I'm on like, I'm one of the, the best fighters in the world. And I feel like, I don't want to say too much, but- I got you, I got you. Know, you. He, uh, he's, he's green, he's a, he's a tough guy. He got determination, he's a hard worker, but it's no matter how hard you work, he can't beat me. Cause I just, I'm on another level. Like he could work, he could have four days, still can't fuck me, feel me? I feel you. Okay. Well, if you want to win some bread, bet on me for February third. Connor bum. Connor Ben is a bum, and they got him beating me on the odds in Vegas. So that's an easy come up. Put a hundred dollars down, you win five hundred dollars. The kid is a bum. I don't know how they think he could beat me.
watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video click right here and make sure you subscribe much love from sunny south florida